Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown wrote history for Japan. In 2019, he already broke the under 10 seconds barrier over 100 meter. This season 2022, he made himself to the most successful individual 100 meter sprinter in Japan. But let's start from the beginning. Sunny Brown is born 1999 in Fukuoka, Japan. His mom is Japanese, his dad is coming from Ghana. At the age of 16, he had his first international breakthrough at the Youth World Championships in Cali, Colombia. 15th of July, Hakim won the gold medal over 100 meter in an outstanding time of 10.28. Four days later, the Japanese also won the 200 meter in a time of 20.34. In 2017, Sunny Brown qualified himself for the World Championships in London. Over 100 meter, he ran a solid 10.05 in the heats, but missed the final after 10.28 in the semi-final. Hakim showed a better performance over 200 meter. He qualified himself for the final and placed seventh in a time of 20.63. In 2019, Hakim broke totally three times the magical under 10 seconds barrier over 100 meter. At the NCAA Championships, he finished third with the second fastest time of 9.97. At the World Championships in Doha, he missed the final over 100 meter in a time of 10.15. In Doha, Hakim helped the 4x1 relay team of Japan to win the bronze medal. They also broke the Asian record. The season 2021 was very special for every Japanese athlete. The Olympic Games were held in Tokyo, Japan. Sadly, Sunny Brown had injury problems in that season. He was still competing at the 200 meter heats. In a time of 21.41, he couldn't show his big potential. In the season 2022, Hakim showed the world what a phenomenal sprinter he is. After winning the Japanese nationals over 100 meter in a time of 10.08, he was ready for the world championships in Eugene, Oregon. Sunny Brown started excellent into the championships with 9.98 in the heats and 10.04 in the semi-final. Abdul Hakim Sunny Brown qualified himself for the 100 meter final. He is the first Japanese 100 meter sprinter who reached the World Championship final. In a solid race, the 23 year old placed 7th in a time of 10.06. We can be excited how fast this young Japanese sprinter will be in the future. If you missed the documentary about the sensational season of Matthew Bowling, click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.